Hello, welcome back to Revenger in Sports and another Rev review. Rather than just doing an unboxing, I'm going to go straight from unboxing to a review because I've been riding this bar tape. For some of you, bar tape may not be that important, but some other folks, it is a very important um, component, even though it's an accessory, of your bike build and your riding preferences. So before we go any further, please like and subscribe to this channel. We are slowly progressing towards a thousand subscribers and that is the immediate goal. And we, our watch hours are going up as well. So I'm very thankful for everyone who has subscribed to the channel. And if you haven't, please take a moment to do that doesn't cost you anything and hopefully the content is worthwhile okay so let's get going on the topic of today if you've been following my channel for a little while i talk a lot about sq labs now sq lab is a company that focuses primarily on the touch points between you and the bike so your saddle and shorts by the way they make bib shorts your handlebar they make a handlebar, which also a review, a review coming. Bar tape grips, so your butt, your hands, and your feet with uh, insoles. So the three contact points between you and the bike, SQ Lab focuses on all of those. So in this case, we're going to talk about the SQ Lab 712 bar tape. And I've been writing this for several months. And one of the things I like about this bar tape is it's got very, very good grip to it, but also it has a good long wear to it. And, you know, if you're spending $30, $40, $50 on bar tape, you want to get a good amount of riding time out of it before you need to replace it. And that's the thing that I don't like about lizard skin. Now I ride very light on the bars. My, I, I, I have very little pressure on my hands and thicker bar tape or things like that. For me, it's just for the grip of it, not for the comfort of it. But of course, if you're graveling or if you ride in an area where you just have very rough roads, bar tape, maybe in conjunction with um, your gloves can make a very uh, harsh road feel a lot more comfortable for you. But let's take a look at what their uh, bar tape looks like up close. And what you'll see is, you know, you've got the SQ Lab logo. And then you're also going to have these little three dots here. And they follow a, a strategy where if you take the size of your hand, and if you have a small hand, when you wrap this bar tape, you have all three of these dots exposed. If you have a medium sized hand, you'll have two dots exposed. And then if you have a large hand, you would only have one dot exposed. Well, what does that mean? Basically, if you have a small hand, you don't want the tape to be so bulky that you can't grab the bar. And if you have a large hand, well, that you need to compensate for that by having all of the bar tape or most of the bar tape wrapped, and then you've got one bar, or I'm sorry, one pimple as they call it, um, still showing. Now this bar tape, what I have found is it just doesn't separate. And the biggest thing, my biggest complaint about lizard skin is it just separates the top layer from the cushioning on the bottom. So, I'm going to show you an example of this wrapped on my handlebar and then also what um, I guess what I think is the downside of lizard skin. And before I do that, I just wanted to show you that almost all of SQ Labs products come with this little medical symbol. And, you know, it leads you to believe that, well, there's possibly some medical um, research and development happening which I think they've done a very, very good job with their saddles. And I've got another video coming soon about how I was able to help a female rider who has had a pretty bad crash 
and now has some medical issues and we were able to use an SQ Lab saddle. Okay, so what we're gonna what I'm gonna show you now is my bike on um, and the bar tape on my bike. So if you come closer, I didn't really adopt their uh, philosophy of one dot, two dot, whatever, but I found this bar tape to be just the right size for my hands on a standard round bar. Um, you know, arrow bars, um, arrow road bars have a different shape to them completely. So, but this was just fine for my hand. And I've been riding this for many, many months. And there is a little bit of wear here, but not too bad. If you look throughout the rest of the bar tape, it's in really, really good shape. And the grip to this bar tape is just outstanding. And in my opinion, it just gives a really, really secure feeling on your bike. Now, if you're riding in maybe in hot climates and you've got some block or something on your arms and you start to, to perspire and that the combination of the uh, sunblock and your sweat, they could make your bars slippery. So in my opinion, this is really, really good bar tape. Now, let me show you why I personally don't like lizard skin bar tape. So if you look here, you'll notice that this is the grippy part that people like about lizard skin. But then that top layer, and it doesn't seem like the SQ Lab is made this way, but this top layer seems to come off. And then you can see the cushioning layer just below that. So you see it here and you see it again here. And in my opinion, it just doesn't wear that well. Also, you can see it's separating here on the bar. So the adhesive underneath is not very good either. So, you know, it's, it's a personal choice. Sometimes customers just like a plain black Chanelli cork based bar tape or something like that. But I, I find that I really enjoy the grip of this bar tape. Now, uh, because the Germans are so efficient, they only make one color. <laughs> so like Henry Ford, you can have it any color you'd like as long as it's black. So, but that is my opinion on the lizards, I'm sorry, on the Esculite bar tape and why I would recommend it over lizard skin. A lot of my customers, when they come in and they they complain that they spent quite a bit of money on the lizard skin and it came apart. I say, listen, let's go with this bar tape because it really will last a good, good amount of time. And if you look down in the description, you're going to see my uh, Strava links, my Instagram, all, all the social, social media stuff. And you're going to see, I ride a lot. So I'm over 8,000 miles for the year got over 900,000 feet of climbing for the year. So I really need bar tape that with um, that can withstand lots of hours in the saddle, perspiration, all that stuff. I, I want the adhesive to stick really well to the, to the handlebar or to itself. And I have just found this tape to be one of the best tapes I've ever used. So anyway, that's my... Um, my review on the SQLab bar tape. You can find the link below if you wish to support the channel. Easy way to support the channel, like and subscribe or show some love and purchase the product off the site. In the meantime, we will see you up the road.